pure black magic emphasis on the pure the black and the magic if you're new here welcome my name is d thank you guys for taking the time to check out the channel hopefully you like the vibe you like the content and you decide to hit that subscribe button if you are returning super super thank you for all of your continued love and support of the channel you guys it is always greatly appreciated this queen of wands just wants to come out okay so that's what i was looking at the first card and then i saw the eight of wands so something um some sort of like communication coming in or someone or multiple people i'm kind of hearing multiple suitors crazy enough i got no guidance by chris brown and drake as the song for you guys for the weekend so um heavy energy around like admiration and with this queen of wands she's very attractive right She's very assertive. Um, she's very like sexy. So somebody could be viewing you as the Queen of Wands. Very attractive, kind of wanting to get next to you, um, like promising you the world. The only thing is the song is titled No Guidance. So this could be somebody who like really is infatuated with you and how you look and just really kind of like starstruck and like really want to get to know you and be up under you and just um it feels a bit like superficial and i know when we first meet people i mean we kind of go off what we see but this person might not have any guidance in regards to like their intentions with you or know to have knowing how to really like treat you or keep you so just be careful of that um of course you could be a leo aries sagittarius watching this or this could be a leo aries or sagittarius coming towards you this weekend okay yeah we got the five of swords what's behind that the four of cups okay so this five of swords energy it just went completely left this five of swords energy somebody could be feeling a little angry or vengeful or um defeated this gives me the energy of like somebody really wanting you or like like someone's angry possibly because they can't have you or they can't get up underneath you or get close to you um but they admire you. It feels like a love-hate situation here with this Five of Swords energy, especially with this Four of Cups behind the Five of Swords. This is usually about a missed opportunity or somebody feeling as if they missed out um, or they're just very discontent in regards to some sort of connection with you. So somebody, I mean, this is somebody who I don't know if they see you in person or if they're viewing you online or if they have pictures of you or just going off memories of you, but they're very attracted to you, very sexually attracted to you, um, a little bit of obsession, but it, it feels like the love is kind of turning into hate or again, it feels like a very thin line with this five of swords because um, they kind of feel defeated that they can't have you or get next to you or something like that four of cups energy and then behind that we got the nine of swords so this person um is very all over the place in regards to their mental and their emotional uh feelings towards you okay they could be up crying at night worried about you or worried about the connection with you this has to be somebody that you know okay that's really what i'm picking up on tree of life this is giving me um like the fool's journey type of energy like some sort of cycle the world card could have ended with this person but this isn't even where i was like trying to start the reading so let's see you guys very general it's not gonna resonate with everyone just take what does leave what does not for the next person like the video comment i comment back subscribe share the more you interact here with the content on the channel the more it puts your energy into these messages and i can pick up on what's going on with you knight of cups okay so this could be an apology coming in it could be a water sign cancer pisces scorpio does not have to be judgment card somebody has something to say to you um and it could just be like an offer of love some sort of opportunity or advancement but it feels like it could be an apology it doesn't feel new so i don't know i'm sorry if you're looking for a new energy this doesn't feel like that but um hang tight we'll see what's coming in we have the six um of coins here almost as if somebody is like wanting to give to you or wanting to reciprocate some sort of energy okay if this is a past person but I always get like a bread crumbing type of energy with the six of swords here six of swords and the emperor like somebody's a little selfish or a little like prideful um so it's kind of like they want to come towards you but they don't want to like give off that they are really feeling you like that or that they need you okay but they're very attracted to you they just don't want to show it here with this six of cups and this emperor card it could be an aries or a taurus that you're dealing with six of cups um 
Six of Coins and Six of Cups, excuse me. So someone from your past, Knight of Wands, this could be somebody who is very flighty, my nose is itching. Someone who was like in and out of your life or very uh, promiscuous, maybe they weren't faithful here. Four of Cups, yeah, that caused them to lose opportunity with you. And then the Five of Swords again, but it kind of turns, it feels like love turning into hate or it's just like a very thin line. So let's see, Spirit. What do we have for the collective? I also keep seeing this nine of cups. So that was the second time I'm seeing wish fulfillment here. Somebody is very much so infatuated with you guys. They see you as their wish come true, their wish fulfillment. Um, but I'm feeling like some sort of separation or distance between you and them because it's almost as if they are watching you from afar or they're thinking about you or just um, fantasizing about you is really what I'm picking up on. What's the overall message? The hermit. Okay, so this is Virgo energy, um, and this could be the energy that you are embodying this weekend, or maybe you have, you know, as of the recent past, been embodying this hermit energy of just isolating yourself, solitude, um, away from this particular person or from the world in general, kind of just feels like you're in your bubble, you're in your shell, but it's good, like you're healing, you're focused, you're just doing you. Behind that, we got the Five of Wands. Yeah, this is causing conflict between either one specific person or multiple people here. Um, somebody feels as if they can't get through to you or they're really like, they're disturbed. They're angry. They're beating themselves up mentally, emotionally. Um, and you might not even really know that this person is feeling this way because it feels like this is something that is hidden, especially with this Hermit card here. Then we got the Queen of Cups. Okay, so this could be you. I feel like this is your energy, whether you're male or female. Um, they view you as the, the Queen of Cups or the King of Cups, somebody who's very loving, nurturing, a mother, father, wife, husband. Um, but then we have the Two of Swords. So that's what's making me feel as if you cut this person out. Knight of Swords, and then we got the Seven of Coins, okay, and the Page of Swords. So this person, I feel like you cut this person out, but I also feel as if this person was just very flighty anyway. Like they could have took something very small that you said and ran with it, okay, um, and kind of just let that fester. Um, or even if you didn't say anything or do anything to this person, it's like there could have been something that rubbed them the wrong way and they just kind of like took it and ran with it, but they watch you from afar. Um, they're kind of building up this resentment towards you, but they're not saying anything. Then we got the queen of wands again. So let's see spirit. What do we have for the collective? King of coins, first card out. So this could be an earth sign towards Virgo Capricorn, or this could be your energy. Let's see. Three of swords. Look y'all. Three of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay, so you could be an earth sign um, and you're knowing that this person feels some sort of type of way about you or this is an earth sign, okay, that you know of, that you were dealing with or are dealing with. And there's some sort of like disappointment, heartache or heartbreak here. But again, I feel like this person isn't like letting it be known that this is how they're feeling. There's like a, a mask up or it's just all of this animosity and built up resentment and like love, hate type of energy that I feel like somebody has towards you and you I want to say whether you know it or not but I feel like intuitively you might already know this but they would never let that show okay they'll let they'll never let you know that queen of swords yeah it's like a standoff it feels like you had to be the queen of swords in the situation or the king of swords okay very cutting just kind of um ridding of people energy or any energies or anything that kind of gets in the way of your peace or the queen of swords is very cutting and straightforward and just blunt because she's kind of she's learned to be that way okay um so you could just be very cold towards somebody right now and they're feeling heartbroken all right let's see what else comes out but we do have two counterparts here um, and it's not of the same suit. So that's just kind of letting me know there was some sort of imbalance going on here in the, in the relationship, the friendship, whatever it is for you. You got the three of coins here. Okay, so two threes in the reading. You got the king of cups showing up here. Yeah, this person has a lot of love for you. Got a lot of people showing up already. We got the lover's card here. They're viewing you as their lover, very infatuated with you with this lover's card, very sexually attracted to you, okay? We got the full card showing up here, like somebody's working on a new beginning, um, or they're trying to work up or like fester up, muster up something, some sort of plan or offer or some sort of way to kind of get to you or get through to you. Um, but this full energy, I was just about to say this full energy for me, at least in this particular deck, is very trickster's type of energy. Like somebody's trying to come up with a trick or um, a tactic to kind of like get you 
get you back or get back in good standards with you. As I say that the devil card came out right next to the uh, fool. So it does feel toxic. It does feel manipulative. Even this King of Cups is like kind of like emotionally unstable or like there's like this aggression or a little bit anger behind his um, eyes here. I always look at the eyes, but this person deep down is very hurt. And I feel like that's just kind of turning into like anger or resentment towards you. Y'all got to let me know in the comments if this is your story, how this is resonating. Let's get one more card. Three of Wands. Yeah, it's like they're waiting on you. They're waiting on you or they're disappointed that something is not going their way. Okay, maybe you're not um, abiding by some sort of whatever, you know, idea of you or you're not speaking to them or you're not acting or reacting in the way that they want you to. So with the Three of Wands, it's like they're sitting back and they're waiting um, on you with the lovers and the queen of swords they're kind of waiting for you maybe to contact them or to make some sort of move towards them um but the energy that they're sitting in because whatever's not happening the way they want it to okay I, i'm picturing that emperor energy that i saw as like very controlling and egotistical and toxic here and manipulative with the full card and the devil this person is holding back from you and expecting you to come to them but they're not willing to come to you either so I don't know, y'all. Take it how it resonates. We're going to pull these up and we're going to stick with the King of Coins, the Three of Swords, and the Queen of Swords to see kind of what's going on, what happened between you and this other person. If this is your story, we got the Three of Wands again here at the bottom of the deck representing somebody waiting, okay? Chariot card, like somebody's waiting for you to approach them or talk to them, message them, call them, okay? But they're very infatuated with you. Like there's a lot of love here. Um, but again, there's a lot of resentment and a lot of anger and a lot of pride and ego so let's see spirit why is this king of coins here for the collective king of coins for the collective spirit all placements all signs that was a three of pentacles trying to pop right back out we're getting a lot of the same cards double confirmations okay six of pentacles again nine of pentacles so it's a lot of earth we got Pentacles on top of pentacles on top of pentacles with the hermit again at the bottom of the deck. There has to be a Virgo in the picture, some sort of earth sign, Taurus, or Capricorn as well. Um, but it feels like this person was um, either treating you like an option here or spreading their attention between you and someone else when that wasn't, you know, the agreement. That wasn't the way things were supposed to be. Whether this was like, I don't know, a relationship, a work opportunity. This person was given to more than just you. And that felt that left you feeling like alone in a relationship or just very unhappy here. Um, Hermit card with the Queen of Cups and the Four of Wands. They could have been interacting with the Queen of Cups, okay? So a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio, Will of Fortune, Devil. Something turned very toxic here. Um, or you begin to see this person is very toxic here, Five of Cups. Um, and it really broke you emotionally, but you had to kind of, you have to let go of this energy. You got the Death card after that, Page of Wands, Ten of Pentacles. But for some sort of reason, this person is still waiting to hear from you or thinking that like this whole situation is going to turn around. They're still hopeful that it can be something more, at least they want it to, but they're not willing to make the effort is what I'm seeing here. And you're in this Queen of Swords energy. So you're definitely not reaching out because this person hurt you with the Three of Swords and the Queen of Swords. You got real hurt and then you had to boss up and just you had to establish those boundaries here against whoever this King of Coins is for you. This could have been somebody, if they're not an earth sign, who um, presented themselves to be very stand up, very husband like, very um reliable like they kind of had their shit together they had their life together but look at this we got the two of pentacles they really didn't it's a lot that they didn't have a handle on in life they were juggling a lot you got earth on top of earth on top of earth look at this two of pentacles and then you got the seven of swords and you got the seven of wands so somebody was faking it there was a lot of lies and deception here or just a lot that was done behind your back but this person was presenting themselves as a stand-up guy or girl with the seven of wands here um as if they kind of had everything in control or as if whatever they were telling you was completely true okay um but it doesn't it doesn't feel like this person was as solid as they claim to be because there was some deception here and that could have been what led to the three of swords to break your heart we got the four of wands yeah and the four of cups right here and the three of swords again and the eight of swords Heavy mental confliction, emotional. Um, this person was not emotionally available as well. Ace of Pentacles, Eight of Wands, Nine of Cups. Okay, but it feels like this person kind of like wants to make a move towards you or you them. 
Yeah, with his four of wands and the wheel of fortune at the bottom of the deck. What's this three of swords spirit for the collective? Like the video, you guys, if you have not liked it already. I am available for personal reading experiences. You can check the description box below. Um, or just visit Pure Black Magic with the CK at the end.com, okay? To book your private reading experience. So with the three of swords, we got the knight of swords, the lovers, and the queen of cups. It feels like both of you guys are hurt here. So the three of swords, the heartbreak is in between two different individuals, okay? An earth sign, an air sign. It really doesn't matter what signs, to be honest. It's just the energy you're embodying. This person is is kind of presenting themselves to be solid or ready um, to interact with you, relationship, whatever this is. But you are on guard and you're kind of like, you've cut this person out. Rightfully so, because you have all of this stable energy, but again, you got the seven of swords showing up somewhere in between here. So maybe this person isn't being completely open and honest, and that's the issue, or maybe they weren't in the past, and that was the issue. Um, but with the nine of swords, the lovers, and the queen of cups, like I said, they're viewing you as this queen of cups, okay? Like a motherly figure, very nurturing, um, very giving. That's who the queen of cups is, cancer energy. So you could be a mother you know, this could be um, the mother of your child or the father, the father of your child we're talking about. This could be um, a parent or something like that that we're talking about. But they're wanting to rush in and choose you, kind of like claim you. This person feels as if you belong to them, okay? With the Knight of Swords and the Three of Swords, though, it's Four of Swords energy. So it's like they, they're possessive. They want to hold on to you, but they don't want to give you what you need back or they don't want to talk about what needs to be talked about or something about communication and, and lies and deception here. We got the Death card at the bottom of the deck. So that's Scorpio energy. But this symbolizes a death and a rebirth here. Like something's just um over the Moon card here and Justice. Like, yeah, this heartbreak, it this betrayal, it just, it hits so deep. It's like, it almost feels like it's no going back, all right? And then with the death card, it could have been some skeletons that came out the closet in regards to this person, the death card and the moon card, some secrets that came out here. Um, and then justice card, it could involve a Libra, okay? King of Wands or a fire sign um, or a Libra and a fire sign here as well. Um, there's some sort of secret here. I don't know if it's legal matters or what have you but it feels like you ending this is bringing justice into your life in regards to a king of wands okay somebody you're defensive towards um this could be dealing with the workplace with the three of pentacles what's this queen of swords queen of swords spirit for the collective for the weekend so we got the queen of wands and we got the ten of cups okay so this is a family situation that's going on here heavy fire energy too and then we got the five of pentacles so there could be something going on in regards to a home um but this this person this feminine energy in this card looks like this queen of wands but the five of pentacles is about feeling left out in the cold isolated um this person could have just really did you dirty or they weren't very supportive or they didn't have your back in the situation maybe somebody's family was involved um eight of cups four of pentacles yeah they kind of somebody left you feeling like you had to fight um by yourself or on your own or with the ten of wands here there was a heavy burden it's like you were carrying everything on your own so you decided to be by yourself with this queen of pentacles okay um and look for better or just move on from whatever this tower moment is this was a third party situation too it really just feels like there was a lot that kind of got in the way this other person allowed a lot of different things and people to get in the way of your friendship or romantic connection whatever this was business partnership whatever it was um a lot of people get in the way what else is this queen of swords the empress somebody mama okay the empress and the sun um queen of wands ten of cups the empress and the sun I, this person just feels like they're involved with multiple people here the empress libra taurus energy sun card leo or virgo energy um Queen of Wands, it just feels like, like a mother figure getting away. And I was picking up on this message for somebody else's reading that I already uploaded for September. I can't remember if it was Gemini or Taurus's reading. Um, but the moon card here, right? Justice, what is going on? Let's see. What else, Spirit? What do we have for the collective? Something's being illuminated here. Queen of Wands, Ten of Cups, Empress, the Sun card. Something could also be illuminated here. You got like 
all the queens out here, this person just feels like they were just dipping and dabbing in a lot of different things that you just, I don't know, you might not even fully know about everything that was going on, but you pretty much almost have every queen out here, but you only have one king. Okay, so what else, spirit, do we need to know? You know what? Let me pull from another deck. What else do we need to know? We got the Eight of Cups at the bottom of this deck with the Seven of Swords right behind it. So this is walking away emotionally from the deception and from the lies, okay? But it feels like this person is chasing after you because they, they're they hurt. They miss you, okay? They miss their family. They want to reconcile here, okay? But they don't know exactly how to. And it's they're not really going about it the right way either. It's still a little bit of sneaky energy here with the Seven of Cups in regards to this death and rebirth that they want to have with you, okay? So let's see. I kind of want to see, what is this uh, Seven of Swords? What was this Seven of Swords? The deception or lies, whatever was done um, in the dark or whatever this person was trying to get away with or is trying to get away with spirit. What is this Seven of Swords for the collective? Okay, so we got the Temperance card and the Ten of Wands. Okay, heavy fire energy, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, and then the Two of Cups here. So they could have been hiding a relationship with a fire sign um or the deception was that this person was very imbalanced they were very peaceful they could offer you a lot of um positivity and balance to your life but they really came with a lot of baggage here i feel like that was the deception here they came with a lot of balance they were presenting themselves as being very tempered very disciplined very loyal faithful all of that good things good all of those good things but they were they brought a lot of baggage okay and the baggage could have been a relationship or past relationships here hermit card okay virgo energy again what else is the seven of swords spirit ace of wands yeah this person and the three of swords yeah so they kind of like, it feels like they self-sabotage the situation because they were hurt magician. They were manipulative. They were trying to manipulate you. Um, they were trying to, they had some sort of tactics of like, whereas they wouldn't give a lot to the relationship so they could have control or they just had very ill or manipulative ways. Okay. Maybe because they had been hurt before, it doesn't give them an, an excuse, but this is the way that they approached you. Okay. What is this Empress card? What is this Empress card? What's going on with this Empress card spirit? Okay, so we got the world. We got the Page of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Star card. So this could be you and the Empress again and the Two of Cups. Okay, so yeah, you could definitely be a mother here. This could be you. They're viewing you as the Empress. They're viewing you as their happiness. Okay, I want to pull some cards from the Love Oracle deck for you guys. 22, 32 on the clock when I look. What does the love oracle have to say in regards to this collective message? So we got unexpected, okay? So there could be some sort of unexpected message or something you're seeing this weekend from an ex-lover at the bottom of the deck, something that's going to completely just throw you for a loop. What else? Addiction, okay? So I don't know if you're finding out somebody is dipping and dabbing in some sort of addiction here. Um... Or I'm getting obsessive or obsession or if they're addicted to you. What else? Grass is greener. Third party. Okay. Player. Date. All right. So I feel like you're being warned about some sort of ex person here this weekend. What else, spirit? We got party. Maybe they're trying to invite you out to a party or something like that. And fear. Okay. And liquid courage. Be very cautious. Roll the dice and cross roads. If you are going out to a party or some sort of event this weekend, um, be very cautious of your, your drinks. If you're drinking in regards to just, you know, leaving your drink around people or accepting drinks from certain individuals or even, you know, drugs or anything like that. Okay. Cause mm, I don't know. I'm just not getting the best of energy here. Okay, you could be hearing about a party or someone at a party. You could, I'm getting the energy of like word of mouth. So even if this person or nobody, if this person doesn't reach out to you, observer, um, maybe this is a friend or somebody's like texting you or letting you know about this person. It feels like something um, that you're going to hear by word of mouth or maybe you're going to see on social media if it's not somebody texting you directly. What does the Wisdom Oracle deck have to say about the situation? We're going to close up the reading, you guys. Let's see. Get some advice from the Wisdom Oracle deck. We got co-create. Okay. What else? 
What else, Spirit? That was the Yang energy trying to come out. We got message in a bottle. We got truth be told. You're finding out some sort of truth here. Okay, either from this person or about this person, whoever you're thinking about and not for you. It feels like a confirmation. So it already feels like you've kind of like isolated yourself from whoever this is, whatever this is. But it's almost like you're getting a double confirmation um, to kind of like move forward with this treasure island um, and stand your ground with the Yang card here. Because we got not for you a truth be told. So I don't know, you guys. Let me know in the comments below if this is your message. Let me know what's going on. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you.